Hello and welcome back to my channel. This week we are playing Epic's game, free game of the week, which is called Sail Forth. The only thing I know about this game is that it's an indie game. You're on a boat, you get to explore, and you can customise it. So I say, enough said, let's jump straight into it. So jumping into the game from the first look, the graphics, I do love them. They're very simple but very effective. After turning down the music because it was really loud, you jump into this mode called Sail Free. So I would take that as a tutorial. You jump in there, it tells you different boats that you can have, what ones have different weapons. I just selected the first one after going through because I had no idea and if it's a tutorial. I just want to get in there and learn the game. Afterwards, you go into an item store, so I'm guessing this shows you the capability of the customization. I do have to say, I do love a game where you can customize. So jumping in, I am then left stranded. <laughs> I would say the sale free is not a tutorial. I was sailing around, I got stuck on an island, but luckily, if you get stuck long enough, you just end up respawning. So after the respawning, I did go into the settings and I did have a look at the controls and they were somewhat easy, somewhat difficult, but I am dyslexic as fuck in my ADHD, just wanted to get on with the game. So you may have better luck at reading them than I did. So after sailing around, hoping that something was going to happen, nothing did. So I just jumped straight into the game. It first loads up with a North Star talking to you. So maybe you're hallucinating, maybe you're not. Who knows? You're Captain Toot, you're on a little boat. And to my surprise, it didn't tell me what to do. <laughs> but luckily, I played the so-called tutorial, so I knew how to sail. <laughs> After sailing around for a little bit, not knowing what direction it comes around, I get to my saving grace, Goose, who actually tells me what to do he sends me on a little quest he tells me to go get some wood oi, oi, oi. <laughs> then going back to him that's when i upgrade my boat give it a name whatever you like and then i go get a cannon i do have to say the placement of your first cannon probably better on the side and don't put it on the front like i did because that is just a twat move so it tells you to blow up a crate, as you can see, bang, bang, blow up. I get some pieces, I get a map. So with the map, I open it up and to my surprise, I had no idea that this, I ended up traveling there really fast so I didn't have to sail across the sea. So with that, I did meet a few characters. I gotta say, this dude, I love him. <laughs> Everything you say is just so true, so relatable. You and me both cut from the same cloth. So after traveling to this island, you do get your first attempt at fighting. And as you can see, I failed epically. First time, but the second time I succeeded and I got some things out of chest. It then tells me how much more I can upgrade my boat like it did back when I got the first cannon. Kind of tells you how to upgrade and everything. So then I'm traveling around getting used to it and goose i love you mate but he would just kept popping up going let's travel somewhere else and i'm like bitch i'm exploring so after exploring some more i go to a different island i meet some more characters and to be honest i then lost interest i am not a fan of this game i was planning to play it for two hours and i only got to the 40 minute mark because i could not handle it anymore <laughs> so my view on this game big fat thumbs down maybe you'd like it maybe not but i'd say this game for me is not my cup of tea at all so i've wasted an hour and a half of my life just so you don't have to. I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer. You can probably tell from my voice, I suffered a lot during this game. And I hold a big vendetta to the self-free mode, which was not a tutorial. 
So out of 10, I would probably give this a negative zero because I did not like it. The only reason it's not a negative one is because of this dude and because I related so much to him. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you thought it was a little bit helpful. If not, still thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.